What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Mark Shark. Alright, I'm gonna speak a little something to y'all today. Um, because, uh, well, simply because of an argument I got in online. Um, not only that, I've been seeing uh, a lot of, a lot of shit about this. Um, so, uh, yeah, I figured I'd start this thing off right with some old school up church. You don't know what that song is. That song is called Shit Bubba. And, yeah, he released that back in January of 2016. Alright. So, what am I talking about today? Well, there are so many people out there in the world today who think that the terms redneck, country, hillbilly, and racist all mean the same thing. Yeah, um, alright. Yeah, I'm here to, to put an end to all that, alright. So, first of all, I don't know why these people are talking shit about the country way of life. Farm life, backwoods life, when they ain't never seen a damn barn, they ain't seen a farm, they ain't lived on a farm, worked on a farm, been around a farm, <laughs> they ain't seen none of that in their whole entire lives, right? Yet, all they want to do is sit there and talk shit about our way of life, right? Nah, son. Take that shit out of here, alright? Secondly, how you gonna ca call somebody racist when all they want is unity, equality, that's all they want, right? Take a look at Mr. Upchurch, for example, right? He's, uh... He's as country as it gets, right? And... Yeah, there are a lot of people who still call him a racist motherfucker. Why? Because he wears fucking boots. He flies the rebel flag, right? No, rebel flag. Proudly flies that rebel flag. And for the misconception, that is not the Confederate flag. Alright, the rebel flag and the confederate flag are two totally different things. That right there is simply a, uh, yeah, it's a battle, battle flag for the uh, confederate army. To more, for more on that subject, you can go check out one of my previous videos that talks entirely about the rebel flag and the confederate flag and the true meaning behind you rebel flag. Alright. But Church gets called racist because he wears boots, he wears camo, he wears his old dirty hats, um, he flies that rebel flag, but yet, if you really got to know the man, you'd know, you'd know that he is 100% not racist, alright? He's, um, for one thing, he's as humble as it gets. He's all about unity. Yet, he's still racist in the eyes of a lot of honestly ignorant folks, really. But, um,. And m myself personally, I've I've been labeled racist on multiple occasions. 
when matter of factly that's far from the truth that's the polar opposite of the truth all right um now uh let me get into why the terms country redneck hillbilly are kind of all the same thing kind of and the term racist doesn't belong in the same sentence all right let me get into that one now all right so let's take a walk well, those of y'all who know anything about me know i live 100 percent in the sticks all right i mean <laughs> i live so far from town that There ain't never a damn soul on this fucking road, right? You can look back there, ain't nobody coming. Look back there, ain't nobody coming, right? Now I know there ain't gonna be nothing in here, yet, but... Oh yeah. Check out neighbor's house. That's the closest neighbor way back there. Alright. Now, um... Let me get into this, uh, this whole topic on how being. Let me get my hood up. It's cold, as a motherfucker, out here. But let me get into this topic on freaking this whole racist ordeal, right? I've been called racist on numerous occasions, and you want to know why? Yeah, I wear fucking blue jeans, I wear camo, I wear fucking boots nine days out of ten. Yes, I also wear fucking Jordans, alright? Because they don't give a shit, alright? Oh my god, there's fucking ass on the... Uh, there's ass on the goddamn door. Alright. So, um... Yeah, for uh, those of y'all... That this looks familiar to. This is the locate part of the location that uh, the beast mode music video is filmed, including this field back here. Ain't that wonderful? Nothing but woods for miles and miles. Woods and fields. You gotta love it. But I got sidetracked. Got myself sidetracked. Um. So, uh, let's get into this topic. Right. And honestly, some people labeled me racist just on the sound of my voice. And on that one, I'm just sitting there thinking, now how in the hell does that make any kind of sense? Right? Like, like, how are you going to judge somebody simply by the sound of their voice? Alright, that's like, that's like, obviously, like, y'all know me. Y'all who know me personally know I'm in the United States Army. I'll be at reserves. That's why. The facial hair and everything <laughs> but that's like if we were to get deployed go overseas and I were to make an assumption about somebody over there based on uh, the sound of their voice right no not all Muslims are terrorists just like not all rednecks are racists are there some country redneck motherfuckers who are racist? Yes. Ow, fuck. Hurt. Yes, there are some out there who are racist as a motherfucker. But you want to know what else? There are also a lot of freaking wannabe thugs and hood rats who are also racist as a motherfucker, alright? It goes two ways. All right, racism does. 
a white man hating a black man is not the only form of racism, alright? I've seen black people racist against white people. I've seen black people racist against Mexican people. Spanish people. Alright? I've seen Mexicans racist against whites. I've seen it all, alright? Okay, so... Yeah. So, to answer the question, yes, there are some hillbilly, redneck country motherfuckers who are racist as a son bitch, alright? But the simple fact of wearing camo, wearing a ball cap, wearing cowboy boots, that don't make you a racist, alright? So, uh, next time you feel the need to talk shit about somebody's way of life that you know nothing about, live a week in their shoes. See how it feels for them. Alright. Fuck a week. Just live a day in their life. Alright. One day. Live a day in their life, okay? It'll change your whole damn mindset about the whole thing, all right? That's just like the same way I don't go around judging freaking hood rat gangster looking motherfucker over here with his pants down to his goddamn ankles, all right? But first things first, get a fucking belt for that shit, all right? You don't see me walking around with sagging my pants down Below my ass cheeks, alright? Nah, but all jokes aside, you don't see me judging nobody like that. You don't see old Upchurch judging nobody like that. You don't see, you don't see George Strait judging nobody like that. Alright? And he's the king of the fucking country. Alright? Just like Upchurch is the king of country rap. And yes, I'm just walking in a goddamn circle. So, um, but, you know what? Yeah, so, next time you want to go and judge somebody based on the color of their skin, the tone of their, the sound in their voice, or what they wear, what they drive, how they live, unless you've lived a single day like that, you ain't got no right, you ain't got nothing you can say about it. If you don't know them personally, or you haven't lived a day in their life, what reason do you have to badmouth their way of life, how they live, how they dress, what they drive, alright? So, uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm about to go in because my uh, freaking hand is sitting here frozen to my phone. <laughs> Alright, um, but. Freaking mofos are frozen over out here. Okay, um, but seriously, all jokes aside, like, sub judging people by what they support. Stop judging people by the color of their skin. S stop judging people based on what they wear, what they drive, how they live, all that shit. Don't judge nobody unless you. Long story short, just don't judge anybody. All right. The only person, the only, the only one who can judge is the Lord above. All right. That's the only. That's the only one who can judge. Alright. Ain't nobody else. It's gonna be judging nobody else. For for anything. But, you know, that's just me. Yeah, that's about all I got for y'all. Um So enjoy your day. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you learned something from the video. If not, that's cool too. But Hopefully you learned something from this video. Uh, huh. 
hopefully this may encourage you to check out some of my other videos. Um, if my videos aren't your style, you can go check out my songs, alright? Check out my latest song, You Don't Want War. Alright. But, um, yeah, have a nice day. Don't hurt nobody. All that, all that shit, alright? Just go out, live your life. Don't judge nobody. You do you. Don't worry about nobody else. Unless they personally coming at you. Then, you know, stand up for yourself. That type of shit. But yeah, y'all have a nice day. Peace out, y'all. Love y'all.